If you remain in one place for an extended period of time, Ooh, it's changed over a lot. Yeah, it's starting to change now. You're bound to witness change. We've had a lot of turnover in the neighborhood. Um, to younger families. And after more than 35 years in this house, Jill Becker says she and her husband Brian are no longer the new kids on the block. My husband and I are the old couple on the block. <laughs> when we moved in, we were the kids. And, um, yeah. Brian and Jill aren't alone. Neighbors Bob and Cindy recognize the transformation too. And we've been coming for years. It's just now we're the elders. There's a lot more young people in the neighborhood with families, and it's just great. It's just great, great to, to see. see. Yeah. But during this year's Night to Unite longtime residents in this Wiper Lake neighborhood were more than happy to welcome the new kids many meeting for the very first time. We, we found out that this was going on and it was exciting because we've seen a couple of people, you know, walking around and we've met people right next to us, but to have just sort of the whole block together is really an efficient way to meet everybody. The Beckers have been hosting Night to Unite for years until last when parties were called off because of COVID. This year things seem to return to normal including the constant components, including food and first responders, children excited as ever to welcome them to their street. White Bear Lake Police and Fire, with a reputation for being community friendly, were also anxious to get out and talk with residents. So many community get-togethers having been canceled over the past 15 months. The neighborhood is uh, very eager to get back out and be normal again, and it's fun to see people. I know the owner of this house, I've known her for years, and it's nice to come back out and visit people that you know, and uh, people are smiling again, and we're standing kind of close to each other, and it's kind of fun, so mm -hmm. yeah, I think it means a lot to uh, our community and to our city. For the Beckers, who've seen many people come and go, the neighborhood has come full circle in a way, saying goodbye to their longtime next door neighbors, the Deckers, Yes, the Beckers and the Deckers, only to have one of them return. Their son bought the house though, so we're still the Deckers and the Beckers. We moved in, Mitch, who now owns the house, was driving a big wheel on a motorcycle helmet. And now he, he's holding his brand new baby now. So. Mitch Decker, now with a family of his own, is right at home in the house he grew up, glad to be a part of long-standing traditions. But having my neighbors growing up next to was very comfortable to have. Um, I felt very at home. It was great. I've loved it ever since we've been here. And though some of the folks express concern over how the Delta variant may impact future gatherings, for this night at least, they were focused on the present. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Good night, you guys. Yeah. Bye, buddy. See ya. Bye-bye.